Do you no. ever play a video game or binge watch a television series? <laughs> Let's see. I don't play video games at all, and neither do my kids. But I do binge watch series. I love movies. So um, my wife and I are opposites in this regard. When she's tired, she wants to go to bed. She doesn't want to watch a movie. When I'm tired after working all day, I'm like, oh, I'll be working on my book all day, and then I'll say, oh, okay, I'm tired. I'm going to go watch a movie. So that's what I do when I'm tired, you know, and uh, a movie or a television series. The the new, it's a new golden age of television where the television series are super high quality and they're nice and long. And so they can really develop the characters in a way movies can't. So I like both good, high quality television series as well as movies. I'm looking forward to Willa uh, of the Wood becoming for two seasons yeah. and then Willow the Dark Hollow. For, that's going to sound like it's going to be an amazing series. I hope it is. Yeah, we're working on it, working hard on it. Well, my uh, last question for you, uh, and, and, and for real this time, I won't sneak any more in, but thank you that's okay. so much. This has been just amazing. And I'm looking forward to going back and listening to this again and again, because there's all kinds of amazing advice in here that I'm going to enjoy uh, digesting. Um, but my, my final question for you is always some variation. Uh, if you could go back to any point you like, all the way back to age 11 when you got the typewriter or somewhere where you're writing the novels or even, you know, last week, wherever you like, if you could go back and give yourself some advice that would have made a significant difference in your journey toward publication and writing uh, and might make a significant difference in the journey of all those who are listening to us, what would you go back and tell yourself? Well, I'll answer it more towards the people that are listening than to myself, but I would say the main thing is if you are writing stories and you enjoy writing stories, then just keep doing it. Try to write every day or every other day and write your story, give it to some people, listen to what they're saying and then write another one and just keep doing it. It's a learned skill. It's like being a mechanic or a construction worker or a software programmer. It's something that has a set of skills and capabilities that you need to develop and you need to develop all of them. So it took me a, lo a long time to realize, I kept thinking, what am I missing? There must be something I'm missing here. And it's just that none of my skills in any of the different areas were, were sufficient, but with practice and learning, uh, I eventually developed those skills, just like you would if you needed to learn how to fix cars, you have to, you have to learn it. It's a, it's a physical, mental skill. And so don't think that it's something you're either born with, you either have it or you don't. It's not like that. It's a skill. Also, it's not for most writers, it's not an easy thing. It doesn't just like magically pour out of your brain uh, in that way. So for example, if you read a paragraph in one of my books and you think that's a really nice paragraph, that's he's so lucky that that can just flow out of his brain. I guarantee you, I spent hours working on that paragraph to get it to sound the way it sounds. So don't think that it's just some magical thing that you don't have. If you want it, go get it.